thank you for choosing AIBMS AuthiPay as your payment provider. In this video, we'll look at running reports on AuthiPay. The reporting tool can be used to locate and confirm transactions. We will now look at what is reported and how you can pull reports. In this guide, we will concentrate on transactions, as from here, you will be able to find out most of the information you will ever require. On the menu bar, click on the word Reports, and this will bring you to the menu of reports available in AuthiPay. To run a transactions report, click on the left-hand side menu on the button Transactions. There are many ways to pull a transaction as you can see, but these are the most relevant ones you may use. Time, card number and time, customer ID and time, order number, transaction type and time. Depending on your method of search, the output format will still be the same. So in this example, we will use the easiest method to pull transactions. Select time, then specify your time period and then submit the query. To run this query, you will see the default display transactions is set to by time and specify time period is set to this month. To run the report based on these values, all we have to do now is click on the button marked Submit Query. You are now brought to the main report screen showing the results of the report. The fields that are always reported on are as follows. Order ID. This is the unique reference ID given when performing a transaction. If you do not assign an order ID, then the AuthiPay system will generate one for you and will display it in the transaction response message. Date. This is the date and time the transaction was approved. User ID. This is the user who performed the transaction. Type. This will tell you if the transaction was a sale, return, credit, pre-authorization or post-authorization. Payer authorization. This field is used for e-commerce transactions and will display a value depending on the outcome of the 3D secure approval processes. Please note that for mail order, telephone order transactions, this will always be blank. Invoice. If an invoice number was provided at the start of the transaction, then this will be populated here. PO. Purchase order can be enabled if this is required. Transaction ID. A unique ID will be given in the transaction response message after approval. This can also be used to search for transactions. Card number. This is the cardholder's card number and will always be panned out. Expiry date. Cardholder's expiry date. Approval code. This is the approval code that was generated and provided in the transaction response after it was approved or declined. Amount. This is the amount of the transaction.